Okay, everyone, let's take a look at module 26.112-23, Electrical Test Equipment in the NCCR 11th edition. This will be section 1.00, Identifying Meters. Identifying Meters. Analog meters use the de-arsenal meter movement to make measurements. It's good for measuring momentary fluctuations. Digital meters use solid state digital components and they're easier to read than analog meters. Volt meters measure the exact voltage. Many digital voltmeters are auto-ranging. This means that the meter will automatically search for the correct scale. If not auto-ranging, always start with the highest volt range. Voltage testers determine if there is voltage present in the general range. They are used for live, dead, live testing. Ohm meter. Ohm meters are used to measure resistance. Be sure to adjust the meter to read to zero before each measurement and warning. Verify both sides of the circuit are de-energized before using an ohm meter to take a reading. Amp meter. A clamp on amp meter measures current without touching uninstallated wires. It detects the electromagnetic field around the wires. Warning. Never use a clamp on amp meter unless you are trained in using the proper PPE. Multimeter. The multimeter combines the functions of a voltmeter, ohm meter, and an amp meter. It's also known as a volt ohm multimeter or a VOM. Warning, before using the multimeter, check it with a proving unit or a known source of electricity. Megometer. Megometers are used to measure high levels of resistance. Always read and follow instructions and all safety precautions to ensure safe use. Motor and phase sequence indicators. The leg of a motor must be matched to the phases of the circuit to ensure the motor rotates in the correct direction. A motor rotation meter is used to identify the motor legs. A phase sequence indicator is used to identify the circuit phases. Circuit tester. A circuit tester can be used to verify the condition of a grounded circuit. A radius meters. A radius meter is used when installing and testing photovoltaic cells. They measure solar radiation energy over a period of time. Remote readout meters. Recording instruments create a permanent record of measured quantities over a period of time. Remote readout meters allow readings to be taken from a safe distance. Here's some trade terms you should read over and become familiar with. And some review questions. A voltmeter is used to measure the value of a circuit's electromagnetic field, resistance, electromotive force, or current. And that's going to be C, electromotive force. A closed circuit is indicated by an ohm meter reading of 0, infinity, ERR, or 10. That's going to be A, 0. A meter that can take measurements without touching uninsulated wires is a clamp on amp meter, a megometer, a motor rotation tester, or an ohm meter. That's going to be A, clamp on amp meter. Current measurements in milliamps are typically read using a clamp on amp meter, a VOM, a megometer, or insulation resistance tester. That's going to be B, a VOM. An expected resistance of 1 million ohms will be measured using a recording instrument, a clamp on amp meter, a multimeter, or a megometer. That's going to be D, a megometer. Alright everyone, that was it for that section. Next section will be 2.00 category ratings and safety requirements and I will see you over there.